All right, so you're thinking about selling your business. Yeah. Huh, that's incredible. But, you know, you want to be sure you get the most out of it right. Right. Yeah. Get the absolute best price. Well, lucky for you today, we're going to do a deep dive yes. into a document that I think is really, really interesting. And it's all about how your web presence can actually make a huge difference in how much you can sell your business for. Absolutely. And this is something I think that a lot of people don't think about. Yeah, that's right. And it's fascinating because a lot of business owners, they really focus on, you know, the tangible assets, the the inventory, the equipment, mm -hmm. you know, customer lists, things like that. Right, the stuff you can touch. Exactly. But they totally underestimate this digital footprint, the, you know, online presence. Yeah, it's like, you know, I'm thinking about this document and it really drives it home with this analogy to, you know, like staging a house. Yeah. You know, when you're selling your house, you want to make sure it looks amazing. You bring in stagers. They do all this stuff. Right. Make it look all pretty. But your business kind of needs that same treatment online. Totally. And the document even says, you know, uh, just like staging your home for sale, it's crucial to stage your business online. I love that. Yeah, it's such a good analogy. Yeah. Uh, but... What does that actually look like in practice? Yeah. Right? I mean, it's more than just having a website. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, think about it. The last time you got something or you were looking into a service, did you just walk into a store without doing any research? No. Probably not, right? You probably went online, looked at reviews, checked out their website, maybe even, you know, creeped on their social media a little bit. Oh, yeah, totally guilty of that for sure. Right. And so it's the same thing for potential buyers of your business. I never even thought about it like that. Yeah, it's a total mindset shift because that online presence, that's what builds trust. You know, it shows that you're a healthy business, a thriving business, the kind that buyers are going to be, you know, willing to shell out the big bucks for. Yeah, they're going to pay top dollar. It's yeah. And, uh, you know, that's where this documents audit comes in. And this part I found really fascinating because they actually analyzed a bunch of businesses. Right. A bunch of different companies. And the results were less than stellar, as they put it. Yeah. A little harsh. Yeah. But I thought so, too. I was like, ooh. To the point, though, for sure. So what areas were these businesses, like, really struggling with? Yeah. So there were four key areas that they really focused on, and that's online reputation, social media presence, website traffic, and website functionality. Okay. I feel like we could do a whole deep dive on each of those. Oh, for sure. But let's try to hit the highlights. Okay, sounds good. So let's start with reputation. What does that even mean, like online reputation? Yeah, so it's not just about, you know, trying to avoid getting bad reviews. It's about actually using reviews, even the bad ones, to your advantage. Okay, interesting. So how do you do that? Right, so think about it. Let's say you get a really negative review. You know, somebody's complaining about a late delivery or something like that. It happens all the time. Right? It okay. happens. And so a lot of people might just give a generic apology and move on. But what if you actually took that opportunity to, you know, really acknowledge their frustration, offer them a solution, maybe give them like expedited shipping on their next order or a discount or something like that? Wow. Right? And you do this publicly so that other people can see how much you care. Yeah, like you're actually taking it seriously. Exactly. And that builds trust and it shows potential buyers that you're you're on top of things. Okay, so turning a negative into a positive. Exactly. Okay, so what about social media? That one seems a little bit more obvious. Yeah, social media is huge, right? Because it's your chance to showcase your company culture, yeah. you know, share your expertise, build a community around your brand. Yeah, like I follow a bunch of businesses that I just love their social media. Right, exactly. And it makes me want to buy from them. Exactly. And so potential buyers might do the same thing. They might scroll through your feed and be like, oh, I like what this company's about. I feel like I get them. So it's not just about posting like products photos. No, it's about really giving people a behind the scenes look at your business. All right. So website traffic. I feel like this is something that a lot of people get hung up on, like more is better, right? Yeah, that's the common thought. But it's actually not just about the quantity of traffic. It's about the quality. So what does that mean? Like good traffic versus bad traffic? Good traffic is qualified traffic. It's people who are actually interested in what you're selling and who are likely to become customers. Makes sense. So, you know, th there are tools like Google Analytics that can help you figure out where your traffic's coming from, what pages they're looking at, how long they're staying on your site, all that good stuff. And all of that helps you determine, like, if it's the right kind of traffic. Exactly. And then you can use that information to make your website even better, you know, attract even more of those high value leads. Okay. So data is king. Data is king. Yes. Okay. Last but not least, website functionality. This is the one that I'm like, huh, I don't even know where to begin. 
I know it can seem a little daunting, but really it's all about user experience. You know, think about it. When you go to a website, do you want it to be easy to use? Yeah. Do you want it to load quickly? Oh, yeah. I hate when websites are slow. Right. Nobody likes a slow website. And you want it to be mobile friendly because everybody's on their phones these days. Oh, my gosh, yes. If a website's not mobile friendly, I'm like out. Right. And so it's the same thing for potential buyers. You want them to have a good experience on your website. You don't want them to get frustrated and leave. Yeah. Yeah. It's like walking into a store and it's just a total mess. You can't find anything. Yeah. You're just like, I'm out of here. Exactly. And that's why this document really recommends getting an audit of your online presence. Okay, yeah. So, like, what does that entail? So, basically, it's like a checkup. You know, it helps you figure out what you're doing, well, what, what you could improve, and then you can use that information to, you know, make some changes either yourself or you can hire somebody to help you. Okay, so it's like having a professional organizer come in and just fix everything. Exactly. I love that. Yeah. So to wrap all of this up, you know, we talked about reputation, social media traffic functionality. Yeah. It's not enough to just have an online presence. You really need to have like a stellar online presence. Right. It's got to shine. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And it's an investment, just like you would invest in upgrading your equipment or making your physical store look amazing. Yeah, it's all part of the package. And, you know, I think a really great exercise for anyone listening who is thinking about selling their business is put yourself in the buyer's shoes. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. If you were going to buy a business, what would you be looking for online? Yeah, what would make you want to pull the trigger? Exactly. Really good question to think about. And on that note, I think we're going to wrap up this deep dive. Sounds good. Thanks for listening, everybody. Yeah, thanks for joining us.